presume your first win of the season and it's all about the start it seemed. Yeah, exactly. So like, you know, the last two rounds have been a bit disappointing, obviously. And then, you know, Alton, we were really quick, but then we kind of dipped off at Donington and then same here because of the rain. But then overall, yeah, you know, like I was quite optimistic starting P4. I had like a gut feeling. I knew like, you know, I'm a bit more experienced. I can definitely like get a good launch and yeah. I think I did one of the best launches of my career and just from P4 straight to P1 before the first turn. And yeah, it was after that it was just smooth sailing almost until the end. You came under a lot of pressure from Reese. obviously the start was so good but then it was a case of managing the race and uh, being really careful with the gap. Yeah, no, I think the issue was that it started uh, spitting a bit, I think halfway, uh, about like, early on in the race, towards the end actually, almost the whole race was raining, so I had to kind of be a bit careful and manage uh, manage my, t my, like, my tires wisely because, uh, my grip, because um, I think halfway during the race I had a, a decent moment because it just started to spit a bit too much and then after that you know I was just trying to take it easy maintain the gap you know not let him get too close and yeah in the end we won the race so I'm really really happy and a good confidence booster for the uh, the rest of the weekend exactly yeah so hopefully you know we, we did a really good lap anyways and so in race one so hopefully you know in race four we can start somewhere in the top five hopefully thanks Azim right. we'll move on to uh, Reese Osajima for high tech GP in P2 Reese, congratulations, you're at your second podium in the year. Thank Start you. from pole position, then putting Nazim under a lot of pressure towards the end of the race. Yeah, um, Nazim had a really good start. Um, probably should have closed the door a bit more, but he did a really good job there. Um, it was getting a bit difficult through the middle of the race. It started spitting down him and I both at a moment turned four, but uh, uh, it's another podium, so we're happy with it. He got really close towards the end, and certainly in uh, some parts of the race. Was there, was there any opportunity to make a move on there? Very difficult with the dirty air. Turn one, all the, ha all the high speed stuff, it was quite difficult to follow, but um, nevertheless, P2 in the back. So. Thanks, Reese, and we'll move on to Bart Horston, his second podium of the year for London Racing. But as we said, your second podium of the year, um, how was that race for you? It was good, probably decided after lap one for the most part, but uh, not a great start, and then I just, I feel like I drove a pretty good race after that. The car was awesome, so big thanks to Graham and the team. Uh, they've done a lot of work recently for very little rewards, so uh, it's always a pleasure when you get to drive a car that's that uh, nice to drive. Uh, it's just a shame that maybe I couldn't uh, reward that effort with a bit better of a result, but um, it's difficult to pass around here, and I'm sure we'll uh, regroup and try and do our best tomorrow. I just say the pace has been there throughout the season, perhaps not the look, but maybe this is the, the result that turns your season around for you. Uh, well, you never know. I'm going to keep doing uh, what I want to be doing, and... Uh, I'm sure things will come if uh, if we do the if we work hard and uh, keep doing what we're doing. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.